We're about to see is made before the recent investigation of harassment and discrimination of female employees at Boys and Entertainment. A little clarification for the Downing Andes. Uh, obviously, it's covered up a little bit by my, uh, my text. My support goes out to all those affected, but it's not the reason why I'm moving on. Just wanted to make clear that's the first thing many people are going to be thinking. Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Yo, what up? We got a pretty big one today, I'll tell you what. I'm quitting World of Warcraft, and no, you can't have my stuff. Well, that's about it though. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out my Patreon, buy Raid Shadow Legends, and also Ridge Wallet. Like the video if you liked it, and I'm seeing the next one. Peace. <laughs> it All is right, what it is. We'll do an actual video. This isn't the last World of Warcraft video that you'll see. I do have one more planned after this, simply due to the fact that I don't want this one to be my last. But honestly, I'm not even sure where to start here. I guess from the beginning yeah. would be the most logical step. Mm -hmm. In March of 2005, Mom Season Show drove me to the Vigi Game Store. Yeah. One of my friends were quitting another game I played, Star Wars Galaxies, for this new MMO that took the world by storm, wow. World of Warcraft. All right, Imagine I'll check that. it out, I said to myself. Sounds like it could be pretty decent. The yeah. graphics are kind of awful. I don't see how it could be so popular. They were really good back then, okay? The graphics in WoW were really good back then. But let's mess around with it. Fast forward 16 years later, here I am. I've played the game pretty consistently over the years. Yes, even all of the Warlords of Draenor expansion. People ask me all the time what my favorite expansion is, and the true answer is the Warlords of Draenor because it was so bad and I got so bored that I started up this very YouTube channel as a way to keep myself occupied because playing with myself and my garrison sure as hell wasn't enough for me or the other seven people who played it through its entirety. Look, all we did in WoW was talk about politics and run circles in the garrison. In WAD, I mean. That's all we did. That's the whole thing. But one thing led to another, and about six years after that, here I stand with a YouTube channel that's grown far bigger than I could have ever hoped or imagined for. He's I suppose that this is the case for a lot of channels. I imagine it's pretty common to dick around with videos here and there, expecting yep. nothing more than your own amusement. But somehow, <laughs> some way, things sort of spiraled out of control. Yeah. The channel is now a responsibility. Hey, wait a second. I didn't sign up for this crap. Yeah, fuck Quick, this responsibility everyone, stuff. Subscribe. It is though. It's a responsibility, and mm -hmm. I've been very vocal over my time on YouTube about being, well, vocal. Fucking blizzard! Shit! And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna be pretty vocal, as always. I do that's my. That was the, the McConnell one. My usual spiel of it's all my opinion. They're oh like my god! Holes. Everyone has one. World of Warcraft is a good precursor to politics. I feel. Even people trying out other MMOs stirs the pot of controversy. It's I feel true. like I need a PR agent to proof watch this video, lest I offend anyone with my brazen taste in gaming. Oh, you will. The character progression in services has ruined World of Warcraft. You stupid! With me. Consider this video a form of that survey that you guys give people when they unsubscribe because, admittedly, mine was less than constructive. So, let's Smart. strap on our big boy underwear and handle this like grown neckbeards, shall we? Okay. You guys are about to make me bust out the spray bottle on your asses. Ah, 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 ah. No. <laughs> Bad neckbeards. Bad. <laughs> no. There are Look at those faces. Three reasons why I'm moving on, and I'll explain them, but I'll go in an order of what I think you'll find the most interesting. Okay. Starting with the fact that I just simply don't find it worth my time nor money. Wow. So, I'm moving on. It's something I've That's done before. That's crazy. I didn't enjoy the Battle for Azeroth, so I quit about halfway through the Battle for Azeroth when yep. Classic came out. In fact, I've expressed this several times, that if Classic were not out, I probably would have quit World of Warcraft a long time ago. And Matt Season went so hard on Classic WoW, man. Like, he really did. I remember he went, like, for Grand Marshal, and then they brought out this Dark Portal. I actually talked with Mad Season in DMs about this uh, Dark Portal thing whenever he was bringing out the video, and I was so glad that Mad Season brought out the video about the Dark Portal because I'm like, everybody in the WoW community fucking hates me, right? People are like, oh, it's fucking Asmongold. It doesn't really count if Asmongold says something because he's an asshole. But whenever Mad Season made the video saying that the boost was bad, I was like, thank God. Like, now there's somebody I can be like, see, I'm not the only one. He's saying it, not me. I was so happy whenever he did that.
reason for that is probably something you guessed by now if you've paid attention to my previous videos. Yeah. And it's mainly microtransactions. True. There are a lot of other reasons, but the primary one is the cash shop. I know That's to disgusting. any longtime subscribers, I'll sound like a broken record here, but yeah. current World of Warcraft I don't find to be worth my time because time isn't the most effective way to progress your character. No. Money is. Since the release of the WoW token and the inception of carry runs, you can now buy anything officially from Blizzard through the endgame. It's pay to win. That's it. It's pay to win. You pay... Like, Final Fantasy has store mounts, and I don't like that. Final Fantasy have bo has boosts, and I don't like that either. I think that's dog shit. But WoW has unlimited amounts of money that you can inject into the game that will then get you an item, get you gold to buy any other item that you want, any carry that you want. The WoW tokens have had the worst lasting effect on the game more than store mounts, more than uh, faction transfers, maybe, probably, probably more than faction transfers, they have completely cheapened every accomplishment in the game, especially with the way that people play it nowadays. Cash shop. Just because you don't see Swiper, no swiping. keystone clears or arena carries or yeah. heroic or mythic raid bosses doesn't mean they're not there. Don't get True. confused. They are there. These carry runs are officially sanctioned by Blizzard. Absolutely. In the game, you can pay real-life money for an in-game service. And that's completely fucking fine. The problem is that whenever you can pay real money for in-game money, and then take the in-game money and pay for this service. That's the fucking problem. It's not that people are buying carries, it's that people are buying the gold that they buy the carries with with real money. That's against the rules, as it compromises its integrity. However, in the game, you can pay real-life money for gold, and then use that gold to pay for in-game services, and that isn't against the rules. Come on down! You're the next contestant wow. on The Price is Bullshit. bullshit. There it you still go. completely Absolutely. compromises its integrity, but Blizzard now profits off of it, so it's don't okay. worry about that too much. Yeah. If they were to announce tomorrow that in the cash shop, you can now just buy raid clears, you can now just yeah. straight up buy gear. Just make it easier. Plus 15 clears, just make it easier for the players. People would flip an absolute lid, but because there's this one extra step, it's they obfuscated enough to be deemed acceptable. But the truth- They think it's okay. They're like, oh, well, somebody else buys this storm out. Somebody else is buying it. it. It's not, I'm not just buying it with gold. As if, like, you just invest, like, what is this, like, Chuck E. Cheese? You take your Chuck E. Cheese tokens and you put them in there and they give you real money. That's not how it works. The truth is, ever since the token's inception, these have all been purchasable with real money, completely in the clear of the terms of service, and many people are doing it, which is why you see so many of them. Instead of banning yeah. cheaters, Blizzard now just profits off of them. And because of that, I feel like real money has too much of an influence. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> What's that? Oh no. For example, their legendary system. Those base pieces are pretty expensive. You could go true. mining or herbing, Very do true. some crafting, and farm up enough gold to get yeah. them, sure. But you can also just click a button three or four times and get it instantly. Being able to say that I earned this thing that's only attainable through an investment of time is so important in games with character progression. Absolutely. And when that line is crossed where time isn't the only path to get something, the experience as a whole is made less because, yeah, it doesn't surprisingly, matter. There's no accomplishment through swiping a credit card. Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! Swiper no swiping! You're too late! <laughs> find it now! <laughs> and yeah, oh, granted, no. there will always be people who will find a way to do it. We'll I'm so glad! That that's the uh, that's what people are calling it, man. Yeah, that's what people are calling it. Swipe or no swiping. I really hope that that continues. That's so great. I love it. Through a third party website, which are really hard to find, by the way, because Blizzard does a really good job of keeping yeah. their game clean, as evidenced by their group finder, mm -hmm. still to this day being infested with advertisements. But I digress. 
There will always be people who go through these sites and get by a ban, but the issue is if the people running the game cut themselves on the profit, it of course causes more people to do it, right? No longer do people have to go through these shady ass third party websites where yeah. possibly your card number gets stolen, yeah. possibly your account gets banned, or more than possibly your personal information gets stolen. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, if you're able to buy currency through a secured, instant, guaranteed, and officially advertised and supported service, people are going to be doing it now more than ever before. Absolutely. Plus, I just think that a failure in enforcing your own rules doesn't warrant cutting yourself in on the profits and contributing to the destruction of your own game. The line has been crossed. Yeah. And for me, it's no longer a game. To me, it's now a scheme to separate me from my money by dangling instant progression-laden services in front of my face. It's true. And you now disadvantage yourself against other people if This you is... Damn, bro. That's that's rough. That I never seen this one before. This is a good one, dude. So yeah, it, it's just sad. It's a service, not a game. Yeah, you don't own anything anymore. You you don't fucking you don't own shit anymore. It's you just pay to rent the game. You pay for the service. Of the, you don't own a goddamn motherfucking thing. That's so annoying. Free it. user. And pay twenty five dollars or dough. fifteen dollars a I month. I just play it as a game. It's free. I feel like I'm disadvantaged. Again, yeah. this is me. I'm not telling you how you should think about it. This is what I feel whenever I played Current, and it's gotten to the point to where the game itself has to be so over the top exceptionally good for me to look past it. And although I do think Shadowlands is an improvement over BFA, it is. it's nowhere near close enough. Like, there's very little that you can't buy with real money in the game at this point. You can buy- Actually, yeah, that's a good question. What can you not buy with real money? Through WoW Tokens. Rank 1? Okay. So rank one, friends. Uh, sounds uh, that sounds like somebody doesn't have enough money. Mount drops, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. A good game experience. I, I don't know about that. Family, true. What if you got like, a mail order bride? You can buy currency. You can buy gear. You can buy raid progression. Paid progression is bad enough for any yeah. genre, but it's absolutely terrible for RPGs, a genre that's centered around character progression. It was. So, now it's on that, seasons. The many other issues that the game has, I quit. And the only reason I stuck with Classic is because it was promised to be a re release of the game in a state before it was bastardized beyond redemption. And they fly. <laughs> See, uh, well, we say Classic, but Classic Burning Crusade? I mean, these are two different things. I mean, because you have Classic. And you, it, like, because you add the Burning Crusade, and now everything's completely different. Of the game in a state before it was bastardized beyond redemption, and they flat out lied about it. It's true. Proven with the character boost. I yep. felt like this was such a betrayal to the classic community. True. It's over, bitch. Jesus! And I'm not alone in this. What you're looking at is an unedited capture of the comment section of one of their Burning Crusade videos. Don't believe me? Just yep. go check it out for yourself. This is what Blizzard has done to the classic community. Just an ongoing stream of people tired of the BS, people tired of the lies, and people tired of the greed, and can you blame them? I have zero trust in them to put gameplay first as they so claim, so I'm quitting. We now have leaks of the WoW token in the cash shop, which Blizzard has said. Oh, nothing. bro, they're gonna put that shit 100% on in Wrath, man. Like, there's no way they're not going to. Because there's so much gold buying in BC, because you actually can buy gear directly in BC. Like, 100, like 100, man. Like, I am not doubting that for a second. Like, a boost to level 78 and a half, and you have rested experience to 80. And uh, you get the time watch Proto Drake. I don't know, right? But like what I'm saying is it, they're already talking about Classic Wrath. Yeah, exactly. It, it's nuts, dude. Wrath will die class faster than TBC. Bro, Wrath will be over in a week. I'm not kidding. Wrath will literally be over in a week. Nobody will be playing it after a month. Thing about which should tell you all that you need to know. I mean, come on. It's the very definition of this meme. If something is data mined and the forums are filled with thread after thread asking. Yeah. Uh... This isn't actually coming to the game, right, Blizzard? Right? 
and it's met with a deafening silence. Actually, That's so yeah, they never did say that, did they? Because people were wondering, and they never gave an actual answer. I never thought about that. Yeah, I, I actually never thought about that. Holy shit. I wonder why. That's crazy. I'm here. I'm seeing a lot of Pepe laughs in chat. Isn't that an interesting little quinky dink? It's all I need to know, even if it doesn't come out. That's the thing with trust. Yeah. It's hard to gain and easy to lose. And if you lose it, the player feels like their time spent isn't worthwhile. True. For example, unlocking your epic flying, or getting all of this awesome crafted yeah. gear, or having a big nest egg of gold. Yeah. It all has this black cloud hanging above and that's telling me this is a waste of time because True. it's likely that eventually people are just going to be able to buy this officially through Blizzard's cash shop with no risk of a ban. Yeah. I know to a lot of you it's not a big deal. Whatever, that's you. I acknowledge that you exist, but... I think it's fair to acknowledge that I and many others also exist, and if you agree- Yeah, true. Like, I think that people, if you think that buying things with pay to win with the WoW token is okay, I cannot express how wrong I think you are. But I do know that you exist, and I am so sorry. <laughs> With what I'm saying here, I encourage you to let your voice be heard and show everyone just how much you supposedly don't exist. I make this video yeah. not just to express my own voice, but to the countless voices no one can hear anymore because they've moved on and were just labeled as haters. Yeah, now Many they're of them cat being girls. my friends, by the way, which is another reason I'm quitting. Aww. Friends I did the rank 14 grind with, casual friends. So I fucking hate it. I hate it. Let, let's look and see who all these guys are. It's another reason um, I'm quitting. Friends, I did the ring. So, uh, I like this guy. This guy's okay. Geomart. Oh, this guy I played classic WoW beta with. 14 this guy with was okay. Casual. Bro, there was this one mage, and like he and I would get in fights every single time that we were in, uh, we were in pre mades together. That shit was funny, man. It was fucking funny. Colon Rampage? No, Colon Rampage was good. I, I, I was okay with him. I thought Friends, he was a human for some reason. Players from all levels of gameplay have quit due to the cash shop. So even if I were to personally look past all of this, my experience would still be lesser because I now Damn. have less friends playing. Yeah. I know that this is a cliche of every YouTube channel that's ever existed, but I don't True. take pleasure in shitting on things. You may find it entertaining. I, I personally don't enjoy it. That's not to say it shouldn't be talked about. After all, it seems to be the only way to get things changed as evidenced by them lowering their completely ludicrous $35 charge and cloning your classic character down to 15. I remember that. See, Forgot all about that. You're getting screwed a little bit instead of a lot. Thanks for putting the player first, Blizzard. Thanks, by the way, Blizzard. am I the only person who sees something wrong here? There are like five level 60s playing on these classic era servers at any given point. So why are they even charging people for it? Forget raiding and battlegrounds. It's hard to even form a dungeon group at this point. The game is nigh unplayable, so how about a widget showing how many players are currently online before you charge people $15 to- Because if they showed you that, and the number said six and a half because one guy's level two and it's a bot, then nobody would fucking buy it. That's why. It's actually so simple. They're doing it to extract money from the players. I th I th I knew this was going to happen with the classic servers. I knew they were going to die. I knew that nobody was going to play on them. Everybody did. And that's why they charge people money is because they're like, listen, if you want to play this fucking game, you've got to pay at least like a $15 fee for the fucking server because we're going to be dealing with this shit forever and we don't want to because we know y'all ain't going to play on it. And then people are like, oh no, yeah we will, yeah we will, yeah we will. And they don't because it's fucking obvious. Like the characters they've already leveled and geared. No? Asking too much? Okay. Just so we're clear here. How often is it that the player base feels like they have to fight for the game against the very people running it? It's Every exhausting. Day. That was the gameplay battle for Gameplay first Azeroth. should be in the best interest of both parties. What's gameplay first about paying money to skip 57 levels of character progression? And if your response is improved accessibility, isn't it this very same gameplay destroying accessibility that Current has been suffering from for the last de decade? That's yeah, it's fucking obvious it's trash. Oh, making things more accessible. Yeah, sure, by invalidating the work of the people who got it before it was accessible. Uh, th this is exactly right. Is the way an audience large enough to populate 70 servers for a 15-year-old version of their game in the first place? 
it's just so fruitless and no one can say I didn't try. I mean, when you take the time to make a one hour video saying we watched that this the entire thing isn't the end of it, and yep. next will be mounts, pets, toys, and so on. And in return, people call you a conspiracy theorist, yep. to call you Alex Jones, and then like a week later, oh shit. Well, I for one am shocked. I mean, what could go wrong in putting your faith in a company that's already gone back on their word multiple they times? They literally just lied about it. I mean, I don't know why this is hard to expect that they're going to keep doing more of it. There's really not anything else more to it than that. Or maybe showing basic math, like 2 plus 2 equals 4, and that bots will abuse the level boost. Yep. And then people reply, nah fam. 2 plus 2 equals negative 17. It's not viable to skip 57 levels of progression. Well, apparently they invested into the name change service and switched to Harry Houdini because ever since screenshots like this came out, they've magically disappeared. What is this, Bernard? The reason why people think that is because they're stupid and they don't know anything about the game. Mad Season and me, I, we played the game for 15 years. We know what's going to happen whenever a change is put in the game. I love this video. <laughs> and they're all boosted Andes, man. Yeah, anybody could have seen this. All boosted Andes. Doesn't look like anything to me. I cannot see the things that will hurt them. Uh -oh. I've spared them that. Their lives are blissful. In a way, their existence is purer than ours. Free to be <laughs> the burden of self-doubt. I don't understand. You're a fucking monster. Or how the old world is now abandoned because players feel a little silly leveling in a completely barren world. Yeah. And there's a big button on the login screen that sends you straight to the outland. Of course. Y yeah, I mean, the button saves you 200 hours. You'd have to make a quarter an hour at your job. You would make more working at a sweatshop in a third world country than buying the boost than you would leveling yourself. This is also due to dungeon boosting, but even though that's harder, that's to do why now, people buy it. It's gotten way worse. 90% of the alliance, if they boost, do so at level 15 and higher, as that's the minimum level to enter the stockades. Therefore, Westfall, the most popular alliance leveling zone to get to 15, is a good example to provide. Here's Westfall before the boosts were added. Oh, wow. And here's Westfall in the afternoon on one of the most populated servers after the boosts. And the expansion is still fresh. This is when the game gets the biggest influx of new players. And it's a what a loser! On one of the most popular. What a servers. loser! Not boosting. These aren't Nostradamus level predictions. Anyone who wasn't willing to throw away common sense and over a decade of history could have made these predictions. But anybody could have. Literally, fucking anybody could have assumed this was going to happen. Yeah, the drain eye. The only reason the drain eye wasn't boosted is because he couldn't. And it's just so sad. It, it's just it's so fucking sad, man. That and the worst thing about it is you have the dick riders. And what I mean by dick riders is I mean people that ride Blizzard's dick literally, uh, not physical. Like they they would. They, they they will post they, their their profiles or their like fan art that they commissioned of their character and their character looks stupid and this is what they do with their life and they can't bear to hear anything bad about their video game because if they do hear that they'll think to themselves oh my god i just wasted the last 10 years of my life Sadly, even with everyone collectively agreeing that bots had overrun the game, it yeah. wasn't enough. And now that it's in, it's here to stay. Yeah. They're actually getting to level 60 now to make themselves look a little bit less obvious. Oh, another one. Here we go. Quick inspect. Oh, wow. Full communal. Oh, wow. Another one. Bro, that guy's good. Varani. Damn. Exactly the same talents as all the other bots. Damn. And they always and, sprint back inside. Oh, they're always they're also in stealth, so they'll be less detected by other players and less likely to get reported. And that's probably also why they sprint inside, so they can minimize the amount of time that they're in the outside world and detectable by other players. That's what they're doing. That's why yeah, that's what it is, man.
TBC hype, TBC hype. Nothing. Jesus. I've only been standing here for a few minutes. Another one. Night Elf. Ooh. Bring it to me. Oh, yeah. You're really, tr you're really fooling everyone else with that name. Look at all these bots. Two, three. Bro, I see all these, like, fucking spectral people, and I feel like it's Aragorn's army in fucking The Return of the King. The fucking army of the undead. <laughs> Just one after another. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, the character boost has already damaged the game irreparably. Yeah. And if slash when they release the token, it'll mount even further. So again, this is me. I personally am unwilling to go through that. it again. Yeah, they are a business. I like that and tweet. Yeah, it's their right to earn money at the cost of gameplay. But it's also my right to unsubscribe That's because right. the product they provide is now compromised Show past is. the point of playability. True. Clearly, speaking up against it isn't enough. Yep. So the only route left is to speak with your wallet. They ostracized a community large enough to warrant over 70 servers for a recreation of a 15-year-old version of their game. Just try to wrap your head around that for a moment, and when you do, try to wrap your head around the fact that they're now doing it for a second time. I mean, if I truly wanted to turn my channel into a shit on Blizzard channel, it would be trivial. It writes itself at There's this too many of them. Uh, yeah, and also, there you don't need to do that because I, you can just watch my channel and you get all of them together because I'll watch all of the videos. So you don't need to you don't need to find any other ones. Somebody said good riddance because Mad Season sounds like he has a dick in his mouth. Listen, I'd rather I, I'd rather have a random dick in my mouth than Blizzard's dick, okay? I, I, I see you in chat talking shit, okay? Talking shit. Good riddance. Don't make excuses for dog shit. I'm sure they're really looking out for your best fucking interest whenever they add in WoW tokens and boosts. I don't give a shit about you. But it's just not what I want my content to be. I mean, of course. Why would you surround yourself with things that annoy you? Yeah. It's a pretty normal reaction. It's not True. the atmosphere I want to set for the channel, but you're put into this awkward position. Do you continue to do this and share your true feelings and thoughts? Do you stick true to your subscribers in this way, even if it takes the channel into a direction you don't want to go in? Or do you sit down, shut up, and mute yourself because you don't want to churn waters and turn your channel into an outrage machine? You should have seen this video in its first draft. It was over an hour long. I was going ham, but I had a change of heart. Yeah. If my heart's behind something, I want it to be an expression of I'm love. so sad. I'm so sad the first one was not uploaded. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I would have loved to have seen that one. ...of care and passion that this game used to give me. Not the frustration and disappointment that it now gives me. Yeah. So, negative honesty or positive indifference. These are the two paths that have been laid before me for the past few months. And I the mad to go season down cut. Either. Yeah. I instead, choose to carve my own. The passion of the neckbeard. The second reason for my quitting is, for all intents and purposes, this is a classic channel. As mentioned, I quit playing current. Yeah. I don't really have an interest in that. Classic overall, I enjoy more, but there's a drawback, and I've known this ever since I made the transition. It's That's finite. The fact that classic is classic. It's a solved game. Yeah. It's a beaten game. Therefore, in the long run, only it just so much doesn't lend do. itself very well to a YouTube channel. There's an eventual finish line of things that I can talk about. And while I feel like I haven't reached it yet, there's a ton of stuff I still want to talk about. It just makes sense to put an end to it before I reach that point. I have, at this point, over 600 videos about World of Warcraft. I'm very proud of that number. These videos that's were created with a passion behind them. I've watched 600 of these videos about World of Warcraft. the aforementioned circumstances. In running a YouTube channel, or a stream, or any form of online entertainment, there are a lot of abstract things that the viewers don't really see. Mm -hmm. One of the most important being passion. It's the reason why we get out of bed in the morning. It's the reason why we care for things and people. Yep. It's the tinder that lights the fire and keeps it burning bright. And it's important in the realm of content creation because the more passionate someone is about something, the better the end product is. For example, you have two streamers. One is completely miserable. They're not engaged. It looks like the last place that they want to be in in the entire world is in that chair in front of that camera. And you have streamer two who's having the time of their life. They're clearly enjoying what they do. Glad to be a part of the community. That yeah, I think that's very true. You can definitely have people who, um, 
Zach Rar, wait, what do you mean, Zach Rar? I'm so confused. What do y'all think that I hate streaming? Is that it? Which, wait, which one of me hates streaming and which one of me likes streaming? Zach hates it. Bull, I I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? Do you want to really know the truth? It's both for both. I have a love-hate relationship with streaming, and I've had that for years. And there are a lot of things that I love about streaming and a lot of things that I do not. Built, excited for the future, happy. The show that Streamer 2 puts out, unless you're into misery porn, is superior to the show that Streamer 1 puts out. True. If you care about something more, you care about putting more effort into it. True. It's the same with videos. True. You'll think about what you're talking about more, yep. run it by other people, yep. get other people's perspective, true. and learn new editing tricks if you're passionate about it. Very true. You can say it with anything in life, really, and everyone relates to this in some way. So that's where I stand right now. I feel really frustrated and stifled creatively because I've started to lose that passion. Not for video editing, but rather for the subject matter, World of Warcraft. And if I were to continue to force myself into it, it would just result in the videos becoming less and less interesting, be dog shit. less entertaining, and lacking passion. It hasn't gotten to that for me yet, but I can feel it coming. Yeah. So what I need to do is to channel my energies into other things, of which there are plenty. I already have a bunch of stuff finished in script form, but I haven't put in the time because I just preferred to spend it with Classic. But now with the level boost and the revving of the microtransaction chainsaw in the distance, the skills are tipping. I have no idea what'll happen, or if you guys will even like it. Some of it is out there, not gonna lie. Got some pretty weird shit coming your way. I fully oh, expect good. after posting this video that this is goodbye to a lot of people. But before you head out, I want you to leave with my sincere and undying thank you for the time that you've given me over the past six years. Damn. Time is the most important thing Those in life that you allowed. can spend. And the amount of people I've reached over the years is something that's so incredibly special to me. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. It's something I'm very proud of. Back in the day when YouTube was first starting up, I was the viewer days. who, when a certain channel released a video, it made my day. It turned a shitty day into a good one, no matter what. Dude, I remember being on this exact screen, man. Like, this exact screen, laying in bed with Jeff, watching WoW Hobbs, and being like, bro, do you want to watch the new Athene video after this? Like, yeah, man. Dude, do you think your mom will order us pizza? Could she order pizza to the house, man? Oh, dude, that'd be so good. Yeah, man. Those were the, the beautiful good old days, man. Flashbacks, yeah, it makes me fucking depressed to think about it. I'll be honest. I was so happy then. It was great. What was going on, so having known this perspective, to be that channel for other people is yeah. something I'm very grateful for. To Absolutely. Provide, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Well, almost anything. I will trade it for my personal happiness because, as I've explained, I think it's just the best thing for everyone involved. So I, agree I have with that. no idea what'll happen, but I follow my heart in all things in life, and this is what my heart is telling me. The fact that this channel exists at all is a result of me following my heart. The only thing I do know is that I'd rather have a channel that's dead instead of one that isn't alive. Okay. Alright, I got it. True. The third and final reason for me quitting is the biggest one. Even bigger than the previous two points, it has nothing to do with the game, YouTube, or anything like that. It's a very personal one, and I'm gonna keep it that way. I bared my heart up until this point, but this is where I'll draw the line. A trap that I feel a lot of content creators fall into is that they overshare. They let go of too much personal information about themselves or their personal life. Yeah, you guys know too much about me. And unfortunately, it's later used against them in various ways. And from the beginning, I promised myself that I wouldn't cross that line. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why you haven't seen my face. As far as you guys know, I'm just another voice in the ether. The government's text-to-speech program meant to spy on all of you yeah. and collect data. But True. there was a glitch in my code, and I just sort of talked about World of Warcraft for I'm six years. I'm getting nervous. Saying it's been tough is an understatement, but it's given me a lot of perspective of the value of time and how we need to use it in the best way that we possibly can. No exceptions, no compromises, no settling. On YouTube and out of YouTube, I want to do things that matter. I want to make things that are close to my heart and share things I'm passionate about and meet people who share those passions. Ultimately, I feel like I don't get that anymore from World of Warcraft, so ultimately, I'm moving on. It's a decision that brings all sorts of emotions. I'm sad because I'm moving on from something that's been a part of my life for the past 16 years. 
I'm That's sad crazy. that I'm leaving behind the people playing it. I'm sad that I'll be leaving the World of Warcraft community. But I'm excited really for all the free that, time though? I now have because, goddamn, MMOs are time-consuming. They sure are. And I'm excited to get into things I've been putting off for years and sharing that with you all and seeing what this next step of life has to offer. But most of all, I'm relieved. It's over. The Frodo, you know. I want to give my thanks to you, the viewer, for giving me the time, as you've done so many times. Oh, I want to thank my fellow content creators in the World of Warcraft community. You guys know who you are. Behind the scenes, it's just a group of friends or like-minded people. Rich I know we all disagree with each other in various oh, things sometimes, but I've always had a great respect for the care and passion that they've shown. Yeah. And I wish them nothing but the best in their future endeavors. In closing, I want to say that I'm not here to take away from anyone's fun or enjoyment. If you're enjoying yourself, good. It's nice to have things in life that you enjoy. But it's also not nice to have things in life that you enjoy taken away from you. Which is why this video exists. For me, at this point, I feel like the bad outweighs the good. And why pay $15 a month for that? I'm sorry if this disappoints you, but hey, disappointment is my middle name. And I'm not really sure where I was going with that. Er, hang on, let me redo th <laughs> Aww. The, yeah, aw, dude, unregistered hypercam 2. Shit, man. Yeah, that's what he said at the end of every video. You are not prepared. Dark oh, boy. dude, four strength, four stam, leather belt. Ah, uh -huh. level eighteen. Uh -huh. <laughs> dude, from YT M D. Oh my God, yes. Epic Mount, you epic mount. are not prepared! We're too late. This entire city must be purged. True. Arthas did nothing wrong. It was so good, wasn't it? At long last, no king. I was so hyped for Cataclysm, man. I really was. It was so badass. Yeah. To ask why we fight is to ask why we fight. Do we really have to put this one in there? Do why we do we fight? Do we have Preserve to? Balance and bring harmony. Oh no! <laughs> For the Alliance. <laughs> Summon daily. Hey there, champion. You got some more azurite for your uncle Magni? <laughs> oh, I do the maiden's blood desire. Jesus. have one of those TVs.
Farewell for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Look <laughs> at the fucking follow up. Um. Ah, oh man. It was so good, wasn't it? It used to be so good. And there was never a point where, like, it was like, oh, yeah. It won't be good. Nobody ever really thought about it. Like, it, it was just like a, a given. You know what I mean? It was, it was like a given. Like, okay, you know, you're going to have wow. Uh, it's going to be good. They need to, in my opinion, I think they just need to reinvent the whole game. And as well as the company. Like, they just they need to just redo everything. Like, it's just, it's, it's just like, there's so much wrong with it. Like, I mean, honestly, like, yeah. A Realm Reborn. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Like, uh, that's what Cataclysm should have been. It fired Jalen Brack. Nah, the game was bad before him, man. It's not his fault. Like, uh, it's no one person's fault. Like, there's not one person. There's not, like, this fucking evil person at Blizzard. You know, fucking, you know, twiddling his little mustache hairs. Hee hee hee. Let's add another daily. Hoo hoo hoo. Another daily, boys. Oh boy. How about another weekly quest? No, that's not what it is. Bobby? Bobby doesn't even give a fuck, man. He doesn't even he probably doesn't even know what the max level in WoW is. Like really, Bobby probably doesn't even know what the max level in WoW is. And I'm not kidding. I bet he fucking doesn't. There's no reason to even think about this. Like it, it has nothing to do with it, man. He has nothing to fucking do with it. So keep that in mind. I'd rather be have a dead channel than one that's not alive. Follow me here at Monotone Voice, whatever content he has planned for us. Videos have been an absolute inspiration. Spit my drink out. Thanks for the amazing content. Wow, I was lucky to have you as a creator. I'm not sub to WoW, I'm sub to Mad Season. So wait, the WoW token is really just a way to hunt whales. Always has been. Just give us nostalgia back. No, I don't want another classic WoW. Like, please don't give us another classic WoW and think that's a solution. Please don't do that, because it's not... We've already played through the game. The game's fucking dog shit. Like, it's a good game in a million ways, and it's a bad game in 500,000 ways. I don't want to play a game that's bad in 500,000 ways, okay? I want a new game that's good, period. I am so sick of playing bad games. I just, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, I, I want to play a good game. Uh, it, it's just Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a very, very good idea. All right.